This is my favorite time of year because it's when we bring you the new Trend paint colors. And there's no easier way to bring Trend into your home than with paint. We have two groups, as always, the neutrals and the bolds. Let's start with the bolds. Our first Trend color is Blue Coal from Valspar Paint. This year, we're using the bolds as if they're neutrals. I love this color. It's like the new black because it's dark and moody. And we're pairing it with creamy white trim from Bear. And we're putting it against a gorgeous chevron floor in natural oiled oak. Here's a shot that shows you how these three colors look together. And you'll notice the accent is amber, very Moroccan, kind of exotic. And if you're worried about how to put colors together, Try to find a fabric like this Beacon Hill fabric that combines all the tones you're going for, and that's the feeling. Our next trend color in the bold palette is Flamenco from Benjamin Moore. Now Latin America is having a big moment, and it's reflected in the choice of this color for walls. It's not a matchy thing, you're using this as a backdrop with some really edgy accents. Here's a picture of how it looks when it's paired with that creamy white trim from Bear, a very pale bleached oak floor, light pine or oak furniture, and a very Mexican turquoise in this vintage box. Now to pull it all together and make it look very hip and urban, we have to introduce a hit of black. And don't forget wovens for added texture. So that's the look using Flamenco Red from Benjamin Moore as a background color. If someone told me I was going to paint my house purple, I would have said forget it. But this color, Purple Basil from Olympic Paints, is so gorgeous. I'd be tempted to use it in a study or a living room on the walls. And look how it looks with this deep, deep red. Isn't that beautiful? And you can pair it with distressed pine floors. You'll notice that's a trend with all our accent colors. It just makes everything look young and fresh. You can also go a different direction and bring in hits of black or a classic Suzanne that has all the gorgeous Moroccan colors and a hit of burlap. That's the look and you'll see it all in this picture using purple basil as a wall color. This year, our gray is more muted than former years and a little darker. Now, if you use this color, Wet Rock by Para, on straight walls, it would look a bit like a basement. But if you add surface applied moldings, then it becomes really interesting. The trick of using gray is to step the color. We have all sorts of fabrics ranging from velvet, to cotton sheets, to linen, all in different colors of moody gray and taupe. You can see how they form the subtle tones of a painting. In fact, an ancestor like this would be beautiful with this look. You need some burnished brass, some distressed tin, some leather, and you need a medium distressed wood floor. Put it all together, it feels like an old world European painting. That's the beauty of Wet Rock from Para. Our final bold trend color is Writer's Green from Ralph Lauren. It actually feels very British to me, kind of dusty and moody. It's very acidic, and if you see how it's used in this sitting room, with hits of taupe and the texture of crushed velvet and burnished brass and sea grass and these raw wood candlesticks, it takes on a slightly feminine feeling, but very artistic, probably why we call it Writer's Green. I think my favorite of those moody trend colors was purple basil. I could see doing your room in that. But then as soon as I see the neutrals, I'm back in love with them. They're so fresh and appealing and timeless. The new white is artisan white from Cloverdale paint. I like it because it feels old world, like natural stucco walls. It's very warm. And if you use it in a room with stone floors, very dark wood furniture, matte black on lampshades, as you can see in this picture, hits of leather, these two gorgeous colors. This is the new farmhouse look. It starts with walls in artisan white, and it's timeless. I'm sure you don't think of mauve as a neutral, but in fact it can be. Lilac Luster from Beauty Tone is a wonderful choice as a wall color if you have modern architecture or you're willing to paint your windows black, off black or gray, and bring in edgy hits to keep it from looking sweet. It has pale, pale oak floors that have been actually whitewashed. It brings in dark colors like off gray, black, and dark mauves. Hits of polished brass or gold. I love this smoky gray accent and skins. Whether faux or real, there's something about the hit of fur that makes this look very edgy and urban. Pink Ground from Pharaoh and Ball is one of those colors that we're calling young girlish hipster because it's very cool, very urban. We actually married it with Terabella from Benjamin Moore to give it a bit of weight. 
And you can see in this picture how we've used it as wainscoting. And if you're doing this color, you have to have the right accessories. You need some turquoise, some deep pink, some jadeite, classic color, and a little hit of charcoal gray to ground it all. Very cool. In Toronto, we'd say very Queen Street. The way to use Alpine Mist from Seco is on clean contemporary architecture, like this simple kitchen renovation where the cabinets were painted in Alpine Mist. The floors are distressed white oak. There are hits of natural clear pine, white metal for appliances or accessories, and very dark green as an accent color. I love this combination. That's the story on retro looking Alpine Mist from Seco. Our last neutral trend color is Dreamscape Grey from Bear Paints. It's soft, it's easy to use, and it's perfect in a kitchen when paired with medium-toned hardwood floors, Caesar stone used on counters, white subway tile as a backsplash, hits of burnished gold or brass hardware. Remember not so long ago when that was just so out there and now we need it. It's commonplace and it makes our kitchens look more contemporary. And the beauty of natural pine or oak. This is an easy color to use. It's fresh and appealing. As I said, my favorite of the bold accents is Purple Basil by Olympic Paints. And for the neutrals, it's Artisan White because I love whites and it feels old world, very warm. So enjoy the trend paint colors and remember it's all about how you use them and what you pair them with.